In the history of Major League Baseball, there are four instances of a player having at least 225 hits, at least 50 stolen bases, and at least 20 triples, all in a single season. Three of those four occurred in the 1910s from Hall of Famer Ty Cobb, arguably the greatest hitter of all time, and one of the most prolific base stealers ever. That fourth and final season came from Lance Johnson of the 1996 New York Mets. Who exactly was this player and just how great was this season? Lance Johnson was a center fielder who played in Major League Baseball for 14 seasons from 1987 to 2000. He played for five teams, but spent the most time with the Chicago White Sox, playing in parts of eight seasons and nearly 4,000 games in the Windy City. In his career, he came to the plate exactly 5,800 times, slashing 291 with a 334 on base and 386 slugging for a 720 OPS and 95 adjusted OPS while earning 30.2 war. A light hitter, Johnson has over 1,500 hits, but only 34 career home runs. Among all players in Major League Baseball to have as many or more plate appearances since 1987, Johnson has the fourth fewest number of home runs hit and the fewest number of doubles, only mustering 175 for his career. Despite the lack of doubles and home runs, Johnson absolutely excelled at hitting triples. He led the American League in triples in four consecutive seasons from 1991 to 1994 and also led the National League in 1996. Among all players in MLB history with as many or fewer career play appearances, Johnson's 117 triples are the 8th most all-time, and looking solely at the live ball era, he's on top of the leaderboard. Since his debut season in 1987, Johnson's number of triples ranked 4th most despite far fewer play appearances than the others in front of him. When looking at players since 1987 with as many or fewer than 5,800 play appearances, Johnson's 117 triples are nearly 30 more than the second most. Along with being an incredible triples hitter, Johnson also stole 327 bases during his career, being within the top 40 for most stolen bases among players since his debut year. That includes a 7-year stretch where he stole over 25 bases each season. Along with his hitting stats, Johnson is also a terrific fielder. His 10.5 career D-War ranks inside the top 20 for most all-time among center fielders and inside the top 80 among all players since 1987. Long story short, he was a great fielding center fielder who excelled at hitting triples and could also steal bases. That brings us to his 1996 season. After 8 years as a White Sox, Chicago opted to let him walk after 1995 and he signed as a free agent with the New York Mets. In 1996, Johnson played in 160 games and came to the plate 724 times. He slashed 333 with a 362 on base and 479 slugging for an 841 OPS and 125 adjusted OPS while earning an impressive 7.2 war. He was an all-star and placed 18th in MVP voting. He collected 227 hits, 31 doubles, 21 triples, stole 50 bases, and scored 117 runs. Those hits and triples led all of Major League Baseball, his stolen base mark was the 5th most, his batting average the 8th highest, and his war the 11th highest. It goes without saying that this was the best season of Johnson's career, and if we exclude home runs, he set career highs in every single offensive category. This season is really one of the most underrated and underappreciated offensive seasons in the past 30 years and doesn't get the recognition it deserves. It wasn't just a great year in general for the center fielder, it's one of the most unique seasons a player ever had in MLB history. Truly an anomaly. How much so? To see just how much of an anomaly Lance Johnson's 1996 season was, let's compare it to other seasons all time. Let's focus on his three notable stats. Hits, stolen bases, and triples. Achieving high amounts of all three is difficult, and reaching Johnson's 1996 levels basically never happens. As said at the beginning of this video, Johnson is just the second player ever and fourth time overall that somebody collected 225 or more hits, 50 or more stolen bases, and 20 or more triples in a single season. Not to mention, it was the first time in 80 years since the most recent occurrence. Let's break down each one of those three for a moment, starting with his hits. 227 hits is a crazy high amount, being tied for the 23rd most in a single season and having occurred only 50 times throughout MLB history. Specifically, in the integration era, which is 1947 to present day, 
Johnson is now just one of 15 players to ever achieve that many in a season, and only four times since 1996 has a player been able to match that total. If you thought his hits total was impressive, his triples amount is even crazier. Through 2023, Lance Johnson's 1996 season was just one of 75 in MLB history where a player hit at least 21 triples, however, that's a little misleading. While being one of 75 is highly impressive, the majority of those seasons occurred over 100 years ago. Long story short, with the way the game was played and the size of the stadiums, triples were highly common until the live ball era, which is 1920 to present day. Looking at the live ball era, Johnson is now one of 14 to ever hit at least 21 triples in a single season, and only once since 1996 has a player matched that total. At first glance, his 50 stolen bases might not seem notable. Through 2023, there have been just under 500 occurrences of a player stealing 50 or more bases in a single season. However, when looking at the live ball era again, that number is now cut in half, with fewer than 250 50 stolen base seasons and only 230 such seasons in the integration era. When looking at the past 100 plus years, Lance Johnson in 1996 had a top 23 season in terms of hits, a top 14 triple season, and a top 250 stolen base season. Looking at the past 75 years, top 15 hits, top four in triples, and top 230 in stolen bases. Those stats would all be highly outstanding had they occurred separately throughout his career, but to have all three occur in a single season? one of the most remarkable achievements a player has ever had. To find even a similar season to Johnson's throughout MLB history proves to be a challenge. If we lower each threshold to 200 hits, 15 triples, and 40 stolen bases, it's now happened a grand total of 21 times. 10 times since 1920, and only 5 times since 1947. Just 4 other times in the past near 80 years has someone even gotten close to Johnson, and yet he blows away the competition. The 1990s featured a mirage of highly notable and impactful offensive seasons. From Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa's record-breaking home run chase, to Tony Gwynn's near 400 batting average season, to Albert Bell's 50 homer, 50 double season, and many, many more unbelievable years players had. Among the hundreds if not thousands of terrific hitting seasons during that decade, Lance Johnson's 1996 campaign is lost among that group among popularity and notoriety. However, despite being forgotten, it's one of the most historic and iconic seasons a player has ever had, and we may never see one like it ever again.